Hello everybody, I'm Alex the Handyman. Today we're gonna to work on a hydronic system, a boiler. This is a building with 12 apartments and one of the apartments uh, don't have heat because it, it, it has air on, on the pipe lines. So we're gonna bleed the air out of the pipes in that apartment from the boiler. We don't have bleeders in the apartment so we're going to do it from the boiler and I'm going to show you how. Uh, first, let me give you an overview of the boiler system. So we have a locking, a locking bar boiler. It's 399,000 BTUs. It's right about the right size of 12 apartments. And then we have six apartments in the first floor and six apartments in the second floor. These are for the first floor. And the one we're gonna work on is apartment one. Right now we're just gonna deal with the first floor. So let me uh, show you our supply, the return. Some of the information I'm gonna give you is not, it's not gonna make sense for you maybe. And for others, maybe that they need that information to make sense out of what they want to do with their building. Now remember, all the buildings are different. Uh, every boiler is different. All the pipes, arrangements are different. They're the same, but they're different. Uh, so you just have to make sense out of what I'm saying to apply it on your own boiler. So we're gonna talk about supply return. So your supply might come from a different side of, of the room and the return uh, from another place too, but uh, just get the whole picture so you apply it to your own boiler. So this is the boiler, and then we have a return, we have a supply and a return. The supply, generally, it's the highest, the, the boiler has two entrances, an upper one and a lower one, so the supply is always the one that is higher on the boiler. So this is the supply, and this goes like that, and then it goes like that, so that this is my supply. This is my supply for the first floor, and then we have um, all the valves and the controls, the sun valves, so the water goes from the boiler, from the supply, it goes from that pipe, the supply, then it goes through here, and then it branches out to six apartments, okay? So one pipe goes to one apartment, and then once it goes through, through the whole apartment, it returns on a common pipe, which this is our return of the, sec of the first floor. So, um, it goes through the whole apartment and then there's one pipe running under, under each apartment so each return goes and connects to the main return. And I'm gonna show you that on a diagram so it makes sense what I'm saying. So we're gonna remove the air out of one apartment, uh, out of apartment number one. So we have to isolate apartment number one. So we're gonna shut the system down, the boiler, you have to shut it off. You have to isolate, meaning closing all the other apartments. So you don't remove any air or you don't introduce any air. And then the apartment, this is the one we're gonna do. We have to leave it open and then we're gonna force this one open to call for heat and then there's a clip there in these Honeywell valves and then you hold it here so it stops there so now the valve is open right now and when we force water through the water is going to go here and it's going to go to the apartment and it's going to remove any water and air that is in the pipes right now so also, what we have to do is we have to build the pressure. So we have um, 
we have a safety relief valve set at 50 pounds. So we have to, since we're gonna remove water, we have to add water first in order to remove water because you cannot remove water and then you're gonna be without water and that's a no-no for the boiler. So right now we have like 20 pounds of, pre like 18 pounds of pressure and we have to add water up to 30 pounds of pressure. And we do it, this device here, it reduces, uh, there's uh, like 40, 50 pounds of pressure and this reduces it to 12 pounds. So uh, we can add water by lifting this guy up and if you hear that water is going through the system or if your system has a bypass like this one it's faster so you are in more water and if you hear that for for now let's use this device here we li I lifted the gate and if you hear water is going to the system so we're going to build it up maybe 30, 30 pounds of pressure. So right now it's about 30. And remember, it has to be a lower pressure than uh, the settings on your uh, pressure temperature relief valve. So let's stop it there for now. I'm gonna lower this so the water stops coming into the system. And now, I isolated all my apartments there, all the valves, and I have one open, and I'm gonna do the same with all the valves. This is my second floor supply. I'm gonna shut it off. So I'm gonna shut off all the valves to isolate and just work on one, apart on one apartment. So the only valve that is gonna be open is gonna be our supply for the first floor, the one that is supplying water to my apart apartment number one here. So um, this is my return for the second floor. So I'm gonna shut it off because I don't want water to come back to the system. And this is the return of the, fir of the first floor. So we're gonna shut it, up, shut it off here. And if you see a, a sealed cock here, we're gonna put a hose Hopefully you have a seal cock here, and then you put a hose to a drain, and we're gonna put a, a hose to a bucket, and we're gonna put it like that. And on this one, I put this device here, so the bucket is tilted, so the water falls into the drain, and you'll see as we uh, remove some water. So now everything is isolated. My apartment, the only apartment that the water is gonna run through is apartment number one and all the valves, except for my supply, to the first floor is gonna be open. And remember, we have 30 pounds of pressure, so we're good. So now I'm gonna remove water, and you have to watch this gauge. You don't want, want it to fall under 10 pounds of pressure because that's not good for the boiler. Uh, no air would enter your system. So now I'm gonna turn on this bleeder valve and then it's going to go through the bucket there to the bucket and you see all this water so so how do we know if there's air you're going to see some bubbles uh, right now we're good and then you're going to watch your gauge so it doesn't fall below 10 but right now it's uh 35, so we are good. So I don't worry about it. So right now, we are pushing water just through one apartment. And you see all those bubbles? That's air that is coming out of the system. So all that you see are bubbles 
and you have to bleed until you see you don't see any air bubbles. And at the same time, you have to watch your gauge and add water so your gauge don't fall below 10 pounds of pressure. So now there's no more bubbles. So now that we remove the air, we're gonna shut off our bleeder pipe. And then we're gonna open up, turn on all the other valves that we have turned off. So we have many of them, so don't, don't forget. Now we're gonna, all our other five apartments, we're gonna turn them on. And now we have about 14 pounds of pressure. So that's good pressure. So now I'm gonna turn on, turn my boiler controls on. So that should complete the bleeding water out of one apartment. Remember, first of all, you have to shut the boiler off, build up the pressure, so when you remove water, you don't starve your boiler. You have to always have at least 10 pounds of pressure and the, you're gonna add it through the gate of the field valve or through the bypass. You're gonna isolate the apartment you're gonna bleed. Everything is gonna be off except the supply of the first floor or whatever floor you're bleeding and the apartment that you're working on. So the one that passes through the apartment returns to the main, to the return and then before it goes back to the boiler you bleed the air out. So that completes the process of bleeding the air of a boiler out of apartment. So I hope this helped you. Remember your part your um, your building might be different than this but just get the general information of what you have to do with yours. If you liked this video, if you think that it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I see you next video. Hello guys, are you ready for this diagram? Okay, let's do it. So now remember, this is my diagram, this is my building. Your building, your boiler, your pipe arrangement might be different than mine, but just apply the principles. You know, just the principle so you apply it to your building. Okay, so let's start by turning the um, the boiler off. Turn all, all the switches off. So the pump has to be in the off position to bleed the system. So uh, your system has 12, pound, 12 pounds of pressure. So we're going to increase it. We're going to increase it to whatever temperature pressure relief valve is going to allow you to. If your valve is, is set to 30 pounds pressure, so just go 28. If, you, if, if, if it's 50, then go 40. Just go below what this valve is going to allow you to. Now remember, your boiler is here, and then your supply is on top. Your return is at the bottom. So let's follow the supply. Now we have three apartments and we're gonna bleed apartment number three, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna isolate apartment number three. That means that you're gonna shut off 
all the valves you're gonna shut up number one and number two and you're gonna open this valve only and you have to force it open because if it's not calling for heat the valve is going to be closed so different valves have different ways of doing that uh ours is the honeywell so you just go at the bottom you go back to the video and you just pull the level the lever and then you have to hook it and wait for a couple seconds so it hooks okay so you uh, if you have a second floor a third floor or whatever you have to isolate that one too so now uh, um the boiler doesn't know supply or returns the boiler just knows pressure so mine my bleeder is on the return yours might be on the supply so it's just that if your system is pressurized and you open up a valve the water is going to go out through there but we're going to chase the air out of apartment number three so if you follow here the pressure it's gonna, oops, here's close, right? Here's close, so the water's gonna go here and then to apartment number three. And if there's air in your radiators on your baseboard, it's gonna push it and it's gonna go through the return. And then before it goes back to the system, this valve is off and the water is gonna come out of here. Now remember, as you, as you, as you take water out, you have to be careful not to, uh, uh, not to go under 10 pounds of pressure because then you're going to introduce more air to your system okay so now that you bled uh your your air out you know you're going to shut everything off shut this bleeder off and then you're going to turn all the valves on and then you're going to make sure that you have at least 12 pounds of pressure and then you can turn your boiler on and then hopefully that took care of the problem uh, again, thanks for watching. If you liked this video or if it was helpful to you, like and subscribe.